What are you wearing? Sorry if that's a bit of a forward question. At the start of the year, I went through my wardrobe and I threw out everything that wasn't me. Clothes that didn't really kind of reflect the person that I am. You know those items that look cool and you bought them from some hipster vintage stall or some fair? And you think, one day I'm going to wear this. One day I'm going to pull this off. But you haven't quite got around to wearing it yet. I got rid of all the clothes that didn't fit my style and my character that I just felt didn't really reflect who I am. In Isaiah 61 verse 10, it says, My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. This verse speaks of clothes and twice in fact, but what does it mean? And what does this second half mean to be arrayed in a robe of righteousness? In Hebrew, the word used is siddakar, which means righteousness. However, like everything else that we read in the Bible, we need to look at it in context. And here, righteousness is not in a sense of ethics, but rather salvation. And we know this because of Hebrew poetry. In Hebrew poetry, ideas are expressed through repetition over a couple of lines, but with slightly different wording. And the fact that this robe of righteousness, righteousness runs parallel to garment of salvation means we cannot separate the two. The writer is really hammering home the importance of our salvation and that his righteousness and salvation is placed on us, you and me. Us who have done nothing to earn it. Us who have done nothing to deserve it. It's because of God's love for us. Because of who God is, he has chosen to put it on us. We are saved. This is who you are and this is who he sees you to be. Just how I threw out all my old clothes that weren't me, God is inviting you to throw out your old clothes that aren't you, so that he can place on you something that does reflect who you are, somebody who is saved. This whole passage, Isaiah 61, that we believe God is speaking over a generation, students and young adults, is saying that he wants you to be free and to free others. If you don't know him, he wants to adorn you with his splendour of salvation. Or if you do know him, there is a call to more. We don't just wear our robe of righteousness for us. We wear it for others. We wear it to display his splendour, the splendour of our God. We wear our robe not to hide our shame, but to display his glory, to display the King, Jesus. He wants you to take this robe and wear it with pride. So how will you wear yours then? How will you partner with God to dress a generation with the good news that salvation has come and with it, freedom for all? Will you take this robe and how will you wear it?